now we can combine the selectors whether it is the element selector or the id selector or the class selector it doesn't matter we can actually combine the selector for different purposes let's have a div tag now inside a div tag gonna have a few para para1 para2 para3 let's have a section and inside section we'll have a para4 Okay, so this is how it looks now in the style I'm gonna say div p meaning all the dis descendants of div tag if it is a paragraph apply this property okay so if you see these para 1 2 and 3 all these paragraph even this paragraph even if it is inside a section it is a child of div not a direct child but it is a descendant of div so that is why when we say div para all the para inside any div tag not just this div tag you can have multiple div tags and all the div tags which has a para will get this applied now you could also do the same thing with classes now let me say this call it div1 t1 now don't think of div now just think of classes now all the p1 classes which is a child of div1 no matter if it is inside directly inside div or in subsequent uh, tags like this whatever it is it will have this style applied no that is why div1 and p1 are the classes don't think of div and p now because we are using class selectors now so it is applicable only on this classes div1 and p1 para1 and para4 are the only two classes or the only two paragraphs that is inside div or inside this class to be specific so that is why this style is applied now this is called a descendant selector you will see what a child selector is Okay, so we have classes here, we don't have classes here. See what happens. Now, what this says is, apply this style to all the P1, which is a direct child of Div1. Now, this class, this paragraph, it is a child of section and that is a child of Div tag. So, it is not a direct child of Div1. Now let me remove this so that we can see the effect happening over here. Just look at this. Disable this one. So para1, 2, and 3, and 4. So this is direct child, this is direct child, and this is direct child. This is not a direct child. So that is why para4 doesn't get the effect or the property so this is a child selector it's called child selector and the next we would see is adjacent sibling selector now the same concept is applicable for classes and the element selector so what does the adjacent sibling selector say now the sibling element must be very next to this para. Now it is not applied. Let's say I have a div. 
So what happens is adjacent sibling selector which is basically the plus symbol it says if there is a para immediately next to a div then apply this effect or the property so div plus p is, that, is exactly what it says like any paragraph which is very adjacent to a div tag apply the para so it has to be siblings of the same parent but this para comes after this para it doesn't comes after a div tag so we don't apply the property to the second para there's a there's another thing called general uh, sibling selector the general sibling selector has a tilt symbol which is next to the one key in your laptop or your desktop Let's see what this does now we have div tag and then para 1 2 and 3 so all the para that comes after the div so they get that but there is a section here so it stops to it so all these paragraph are pretty much siblings of div so it is called general sibling selector and all the uh, siblings get that effect now what if I have an another paragraph here that also gets it but this is not a direct sibling because there is a section and then there's some content to it so this is how you could use the combinators